Goodbye, Maya. He's been with me, love. Oh, I need a word with you, sorry lot. Now. Whose brilliant idea was it to let an ancient demon out of his bloody cage? Sarah's. Well, you opened the door, love. And malice wasn't the only thing that got out. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Legends of Tomorrow Season 3, and today we're going to be doing my finale review, so this episode was epic. Definitely my favourite episode of the whole season, and I'm really excited for Season 4, so we're going to be breaking down all the major plot points in this episode. So first off, I'm going to be talking about the big final fight, so I'm not going to be talking about it chronologically, but talking about the stuff I want to talk about first. So it was Bebo versus Malice and obviously that is hilarious and although I didn't really like the Bebo idea at the start of the season I really really liked that end fight scene it was really good very legend style and the idea of how Malice is only the first time demon to actually come out of what the legends have screwed up over time and now Malice actually just sets up the idea for season 4 with there being tons of more demons being released as Constantine at the end of the episode he returns and he cuts off the head of a dragon type monster, so one of the new time demons that have actually been released. And I'm really, really excited for season 4 because we're going to be getting more supernatural, more Constantine stuff, so that means more demons. So this season was really a vixen season, and now next season is going to be a full on Constantine season. So I highly recommend that you guys go watch Constantine season 1 because I have a feeling it's going to be a bit more like that. So this season was epic overall, and so next season we're going to have a lot more demons, and the legends are going to be tackling those time demons, and I think everyone else, so that being Ava and the Time Bureau, they're actually going to be trying to fight off these remaining anachronisms. So season 4 has a lot to promise, and I'm really, really excited to see the first footage this year at Comic Con. So Amaya, at the end of the episode, she was the big person that actually ended up leaving, as her legends every season, a person does leave and also Rip supposedly dies and so Amaya has been set up this whole season that she must go back to Zambezi and it's a really good payoff for her and I'm not at all bothered that she's left even though I really like her. I think it's a really good send off. She's definitely able to come back in the future. I've met Maisie Richardson Sellers in real life. She's really nice. She's really committed so hopefully sometime in the future she'll come back. Moving back on to Rip. So Rip supposedly dies and it was a brilliant scene. I love it when he disappears and you know there's the montage sequence of him going back back into the past doing all his speeches it was a really nice send off for him and me personally I don't think he's completely gone and I really like Rip so I'm hoping that he comes back but it was a great scene for him to supposedly die so moving on to the entirety of the episode so we go back to the wild west and we meet Jonah Hex once again a brilliant recurring character I love it when he pops up and so we get the fight at high noon there's so many western references to great films such as you know the Clint Eastwood films with Sarah doing the Clint Eastwood iconic spit which was just fabulous I love seeing that and the score was inspired by past films like the good the bad and the ugly which the episode was actually named after and so all of those things I really enjoyed and then we got the return of season 3 characters from all of the other episodes and we get Helen of Troy back she's now a full on Amazonian warrior which was awesome to see and so moving on so Nora actually survives and Damien Dark sacrifices himself and also Kuwasa becomes good so time changes for the better in this episode we get to see all these different people and Jax actually ends up returning although he has a small part to play in the episode it's a really awesome awesome part it's great seeing Jack's back he's one of my favorite characters on the show and so hopefully he returns sometime in the future but now he's got a kid that obviously gives us a reason for him not to return straight away so anyway guys that is it for my review this has been a great season of Legends of Tomorrow I'm so sorry that I had to skip out on the reviews for the last three episodes or so I've just been really busy on Mondays and so next season I'm going to be committed to trying to make reviews for every episode because I love this show and now Constantine's on that gives me even more of a reason to you know consistently do videos because Constantine is one of my favorite characters in the DC TV universe. So anyway guys, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss any Season 4 Legends of Tomorrow content next year. And anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. Sharp green teeth.